I don't know about you, but I only listen to music online these days, and by online I mean on my phone, the tablet I don't have, or my laptop. That's the value of streaming music. When Chance the Rapper won Best Rap Album Grammy earlier this year for his streaming-only album, it signaled a shift in how music is consumed these days. In Chance's acceptance speech, he gave a shout-out to SoundCloud, the platform that's home to all of his mixtapes. And when his album first came out, he released it exclusively on Apple Music. But the streaming business hasn't always been all bells and whistles. It took a while for it to get to this point. After about a decade of decline, the music industry is growing. Modestly, but it's growing. Since last year, it's grown almost 6% in global recorded music revenue, due largely in part to streaming. Go figure. Today, I'm chatting with SoundCloud's Alexis Giles to talk about the state of the music streaming industry. Alexis Giles is Director of Business Development and Platform at SoundCloud, an online music and podcast streaming service that enables artists to upload, record, and share their tracks. She's in charge of developing partnerships for SoundCloud with media platforms and tech distributors. All right, so we we talked a little bit about Chance the Rapper just before we started shooting, and um, when he when he won the Grammy for um, you know best rap album, he was like shout out to SoundCloud. I forget exactly what he said, but what what did that feel like for you and for SoundCloud? I literally jumped out of my seat. I was like, oh my god, did he just say thank SoundCloud? That's incredible. Um, and he, I think he thanked his mum. His dad, his his God, and SoundCloud, and I was just like, this is this is Top amazing, four. yeah. And to to have that kind of recognition from someone like Chance is just is just incredible. Like he's he's worked so hard. I think he's also done so much for the the independent sector. He's a really great example of how um, you can really build and mobilize your audience to do really great things. You know, not only does he have an incredible music career, he's also using his um, his audience to impact change. So for example, he lobb lobbied very hard for music that's available freely, mixtapes for example, mm -hmm. to be nominated for Grammys. And you know, that will that will impact the music industry moving forward in a very significant way. You know, he's, he's doing the, the stuff in Chicago with the public schools as well. Right. Um, so yeah, it, it felt really great. We're, we're super happy to be, you know, considered part of his team. He also yeah. said, you know, it takes a village. You know, he thanked his team and that team in includes us and, and our ecosystem, um, both for Chance and lots of other artists. So we were very, very happy. <laughs> very, very, yeah, it was great. Nice. What do you think that um, his winning kind of signifies for the digital music industry? Because I think at some point, um, in like the earlier days of like streaming music, people were just like, oh, like I don't know if this is really going to work. Like, is this is this profitable mm -hmm. for one? Mm -hmm. So, what does that really signify? I think um, both Chance's success and the success of other artists and the, the way that they they're building their digital audiences and you know the IFP report that just came out um, on the the music industry revenues streaming has grown sixty percent um, in revenues over the last year. So. That's an incredibly impactful industry now for the music industry at large. I think that streaming is here to stay. Mm -hmm. It's definitely become the de facto access method for music. And you know, we were talking before. I said, well, like when I was a kid a long time ago, we used to have to save up for albums or ask our parents to take us to the record store. And so we were kind of constrained in our musical exploration, right? We right. We, we we knew what we liked from the radio or other people and what they owned, and then we had the albums that we could afford to buy. But now, with a music subscription, you have incredible access to all of the world's catalog. I think that SoundCloud, we really provide this unique platform as well. So any artist can grow a build an audience on a global basis. We've really democratized um, content creation and distribution. And so the pie is growing. Like it's right. a really exciting time to be in the music industry. And when I talk about the music industry, I mean everyone from the labels, the publishers, the streaming services, all of the ancillary services around the artist services. It's a really, really good time, and it's a really positive time to be in the music industry because we're just starting to see revenues grow and expand, and I think it's just getting started. So there's, you know, there's of course SoundCloud and Apple Music and Spotify and Pandora is still around. Um, do you, how do you see all of those services kind of like coexisting, mm -hmm. um, like in the next like five years, let's say? I think it's it's a really interesting environment because 
I think what we're coming to realize as an industry is one size doesn't fit all. There mm -hmm. are different, I say different horses for different courses, but I, I can almost use a car analogy, right? Everybody likes to drive a car. People right. want to get from A to B, but people like to drive different cars, like mm -hmm. depending on their tastes. And so if you look at the, the sort of, the Apple Music's, the, the titles, the Spotify's, the, the sort of digital jukebox services, right? They mm -hmm. have the, 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 the label catalog and they select and arrange that in different ways. And I think people pick those services depending on how they like their experience to be, right? right? So, and I think that's a really interesting competitive environment to, to be in. You know, Apple has their Beats radio service, Spotify has their playlist, and people, I think, really genuinely pick depending on their preference of experience. Mm -hmm. I think what we're seeing with SoundCloud is because we have the the depth of content um, outside of the, the regular label content because we have this dynamic catalogue, we again have a different um, sector of users right. that really enjoy that experience. It's a social experience like we were talking about. Right. They want to have that authentic artist to fan connection. It's a very meaningful way of engaging with people that, that they admire, that they feel they connect with creatively um, and also engaging with the social community on SoundCloud. So I think that there's room for everybody because there are a lot of users out there who like a lot of different experiences. Um, what does what is the next um, like? What does the next twelve months look like for you at SoundCloud? Like, what are some of your your goals moving forward? Um, I think so. Last year we launched the um, SoundCloud Go Plus in right. eight countries. Um, this year we launched our mid tier product, SoundCloud Go. Um, which is really, really exciting. Um, and I think really this year is all about doubling down and focusing on that, focusing on what makes us unique. Mm -hmm. um, and, and building on that, I think that we talked about before, there are lots of different consumers within this industry, right? right. We, we have a really strong freemium model. So we have lots of consumers who are really happy to consume on an ad supported basis. Mm -hmm. um, and we really think about how do we move those consumers through the experience? So right. then you've got the consumers who are like, okay, I really enjoy that experience. I don't want ads anymore. And then you move them into the, the mid tier experience. Yeah, and I then, think I'm in the mid tier right yeah. now because I just don't want ads. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and so, yeah. and so you're, ready, you're, you're prepared to pay for that. And so we're really understanding and working together with the industry to be like, hey, there are lots of different levels of experience. How do we make sure we're capturing them all and giving those people the best experience possible so we bring them into the ecosystem? system okay yeah nice last thing about chance um was it was it surprising when um when he decided to you know exclusively release his his album on apple music um given that he had kind of you know gone his start on soundcloud and i don't know what was that like um no i think that any artist has a right to direct his content to his audience any way he feels necessary, right? And so if, that, if he thought that that was a really great opportunity, then absolutely, we, we, we support that 100%. I think that being part of a creator-driven dri creator creator service mm -hmm. is that you want to make sure that creators are getting to the point where they have, they can consider these opportunities. Right. Um, so, you know, that's never stopped us working with Chance. You know, we still work with him very closely. So the more opportunities that are out there for creators means the more creators get in the ecosystem right. um, and they continue to target their fans in different ways. Yeah. Cool. Thanks so much for your time, Alexis. Is that all? Yeah. I could talk to you forever. <laughs>